Hi, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to Adapt and Flow Yoga. Today, we'll be practicing a simple seated yoga class. So you can do this seated in a folding chair like the one I'm seated in or a wheelchair. You could practice in other areas. However, something too squishy like a bed or a couch might make it a little more challenging to practice. So we'll begin by just centering, coming into the space, coming into wherever you are, whatever room you're in, whether you're outside or indoors, and just start to look around your surroundings. We're gonna go through all five senses, practicing what we call a take five, starting with your sense of sight. Just take a moment to look around the room and identify five things that you can see. Just silently stating them to yourself. And as you've found those five items, allow your eyes to softly close, shifting your attention to your sense of touch, noticing four things that you can feel, perhaps outside of your body, more obvious things like the chair or the ground, maybe inside of your body, what are you feeling? And then as you found those four things, allow your attention to shift to your sense of sound, noticing three things that you can hear. More obvious sounds around you, maybe music or children, less obvious like your breath. And then shifting the attention to your sense of smell, noticing two things that you can smell. Maybe now, maybe it's difficult to locate a second smell. Maybe you gather a memory of a smell. And then finally shifting your attention to your sense of taste, noticing any lingering taste on your tongue maybe something you ate or brushing your teeth, maybe even gum. And then tuning into the breath, noticing the gentle rise and fall of the breath as it enters and exits the body. Noticing what parts of your body move as you breathe in and breathe out. Notice how long your breaths are. Continuing this natural breath a few moments longer. Then as you're ready, place a hand on the belly. Again, softly close the eyes or look down at the floor. And we'll send our breath all the way into the belly, letting the belly rise and expand like you're filling a balloon with air. And as you exhale, let the belly fall contracting the belly button in towards the spine. Inhale, the belly rises, expands like you're filling up a balloon. And exhale, release. Continuing this again for three more breaths on your own, noticing the control you have over your breath and your body in this moment. Last breath in and the last breath out. So then letting your hands rest down towards your lap, softly blinking the eyes open. Inhale the shoulders away from the ears and your head up towards the ceiling. Exhale, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Notice the stretch in the side of your neck. And then gently take some tiny micro movements, looking down and up towards the floor and the ceiling. Noticing how this feels on the sides of your neck. And then settling back in, looking down at the ground, breathe in here. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest, coming back to the center. Inhale back. Good, inhale the shoulders away from the ears, the head up towards the sky, exhale, drop your ear to your shoulder. Again, taking some gentle movements up and down, noticing how this feels. Perhaps you 
stay in one position a little longer. Perhaps noticing that one side feels a little tighter than the other. Settling back in by looking at the ground. Breathe in and out as you tuck your chin to your chest, coming back to the center. Before we lift the head, let your head rock side to side, noticing the stretch in the back of the neck. Good. Coming back to the center. Inhale. Lift your gaze all the way up towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch in front of the neck as far as is comfortable, not forcing, never going to pain. Breathe into this space and this opening you're creating in the front of your body. And exhale back to center. Good. Inhale. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale. Just let them relax down. Inhale, the shoulders rise. Exhale, release. Good. One more like that. Just inhale straight up and exhale down. We'll take some gentle shoulder rolls. Inhale as you roll the shoulders forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Doing this three more times. Breathing in and out. Good. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Coming back to the center, taking a breath in through the nose, out of the mouth. Good, we'll reverse the direction. This time, inhaling as you squeeze back and up. Exhale forward and down. Taking this three more times. Breathing in and out. In and out. Last time, inhale. And exhale, settling back into the center. Let your hands come to the front of your knees and then rest back to the back of your chair, letting your spine round, your chin tucked down towards your chest, your head releasing. This is our child's pose. This is a pose we can come back to at any time during the practice where you need to take a break, if you need to take a few breaths, or even if you want to remain for the rest of the practice knowing that as long as you're breathing, you are doing yoga. We'll take a breath in here through the nose and out of the mouth. One more like that. Breathe in through the nose, out of the mouth. Good. Staying here in this child's pose, take your right hand and just kind of scoot it over on the right leg just a little bit. Lift the left hand and place it on top of the right, feeling a gentle stretch in the left side body happening from the hip all the way through the fingertips. Just the slightest stretch here, breathing into the space and out. Good, one more in and out. Good, bringing your hands back to your child's pose. And then walking the left hand to the outer side of the knee. The right hand joins on top of the left, feeling the stretch in the right side of your body. From the right hip all the way through the right fingertips. Inhaling into this space. Exhale. Last breath in. And out. Good. Coming back to the center here in that neutral child's pose. Just taking another breath in and another breath out. Your next inhale lifts you back up to that neutral spine. Your gaze up straight in front of you, shoulders away from the ears. We'll begin a few rounds of cat-cow. Keeping the hands on the lap, we'll inhale, send the elbows behind you, arching the back. Gaze lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, round forward, tucking the chin in towards the chest. Good. Two more like that. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Slowly coming back to your neutral spine. We'll inhale, extend the left arm straight out to the side, taking your gaze to the knee. 
Good. As you exhale, tap your left hand on top of the right. Just beginning to warm up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. One more like that, preparing for a thread the needle. And exhale, tap. This time, we'll make that a little bigger. Inhale, opening the chest up. And then this time as you exhale, thread through the little hole we have created here. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread. Last one, this time making it as big as you can. Inhale, reach as far as you can. Exhale, thread all the way through. Taking a breath here in and out. One more in and out. Good. Your next inhale brings you back to that neutral spine, preparing for the other side. Inhale the right arm out, taking the gaze to meet. Exhale, tap your hands. Good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. One more like that. Inhale and exhale. This time opening the chest up, arm reaching up towards the wall. Exhale, thread through. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread. Last one like this. Inhale, reaching as much as you can. Exhale, thread through. Taking a few breaths here. Breathing in and out. In and out. Good, inhale, brings you back to your tabletop. Exhale, stay. Taking two more rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, coming back up to the center. This is a great version of tabletop. We can also take it a little more actively. So imagining that our hands are pressing into the ground, our knees are grounding into the ground as well. Core is engaged, shoulders are down and away from the ear. Good, we'll take a few breaths here. Really feeling the strength in this position. Breathing in through the nose and out. One more breath like that, inhale and exhale. Become aware of your left hand. As you inhale, becoming really aware as you exhale, bring your left hand to tap your right knee. Good, inhale back, exhale tap. We'll do that one more time. Inhale and exhale. Good, coming back to the center. This time, we will lift the right leg, tapping the hand and knee together. Inhale, tap. Exhale, stay. Option to just tap the hand to the knee in a stationary position as well. Good. One last time. Inhale and exhale. Back to center. Taking a round of cat cow with the arms extended out if they are up. Inhale, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Gaze lift. Exhale, round forward. Good. We'll do that one more time. Inhale and exhale. Good. Coming back up, letting your arms shake out, maybe swaying them side to side before we go to the other direction. Just kind of being playful, taking whatever you need here, maybe even giving yourself a big hug. Good. Preparing for the other side, coming back to that tabletop position with the arms extended or even option to keep the hands down on the lap. Really engaging the core here, taking a breath in before we begin any movement, breathing in and out. Good, inhale, take the right hand, tap the left knee. Good, coming back to center, inhale, tap. Exhale, back, one more like that, inhale, and exhale. Good, this time lifting the knee to meet the hand, inhale, and down, inhale, exhale, last one, tap. And hands to neutral. Good. One more round of that cat cow opening and rounding. And then let the hands drop. Just coming back into your child's pose. Taking a moment to rest here. Breathing in through the nose. 
sighing it out of the mouth. Good. Taking a few breaths on your own. Just taking a moment to reset and prepare for the remainder of this practice. Good. Inhale. And slowly lifting up. Trying to get settled and seated in the chair. However that feels comfortable for you. Trying to lift the spine up the shoulders away from the ears. We'll inhale the arms up high towards the sky and exhale, opening them out, cactusing them. Good. Inhale, reach your arms back behind you, a great chest opener, and then exhale the arms in. We'll do that again. Inhale, open, lifting. Exhale, open the arms, bending the elbows, cactusing them. Inhale, reach back behind you. Exhale, down. Good. We'll prepare for our sun salutations. There's lots of different versions we can do for this. I'll just show you the basics, knowing that you can scale back or take it forward as much as you would like. So we'll inhale the arms up tall. This is our extended mountain pose. You can even clasp your hands together, dropping shoulders away from the ears. Taking a breath here. And as you exhale, we're going to fold forward. Coming to this forward fold. Option to come all the way to the ground, perhaps placing your hands on blocks here, or even letting the arms stack on the knees. Wherever you are, trying to relax your head. If you have any dizziness, knowing that you can keep your head above your heart. And just trying to find a space of stillness and quiet and peace in this forward fold, whatever version you have opted to take. Taking a few breaths, breathing in through the nose again and out of the mouth. Good, one more. And out. Good, place your hands on your thighs. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthening through the spine. Feeling as if there's a string being pulled from your tailbone all the way out through the top of your head. The shoulders are away from the ears. Good. And then we'll fold forward again to your version of that forward fold. Inhale, this time rolling all the way up, taking your time to get there. Walking the hands on the thighs and letting the hands drop down by your sides, rolling the shoulders up and back. Palms face the front. Your gaze is straight. This is our strong mountain pose. We'll repeat all of that again. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. This time, breath to movement. Inhale, halfway lift, perhaps on blocks or your thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae, hands come down by your side. Last one like that. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rolling all the way up, coming back to our mountain pose. We'll prepare for warrior one. Take the left leg and place it directly in front of you, maybe even shifting slightly to the right side of your chair, opening the right leg out to the side, knowing that if you're seated in a wheelchair, you can place your leg out to the side slightly, or you can keep your legs in neutral for this next part of the practice. We're going to think about taking the hips and shoulders and trying to face the front. Drop the shoulders away from the ears as you inhale your arms up. This is warrior one. You can keep your arms here. You could bend the elbows. You could even have them straight out in front of you or on your lap. So knowing there's so many different variations and options for this posture. Well, take a few breaths here in this warrior one. Breathing in and out. Thinking about opening both of the legs over the toes, the outer toe, the pinky. 
trying to keep the knees stacked over the ankles, taking a breath in again, and out. Good, this time we're gonna inhale, opening the arms out to the sides and the chest out. So this is warrior two, your chest is over the right leg or opening towards the right leg. Your left leg is straight out in front of you and your arms are long. You can take your gaze over the front fingertips if this feels okay on your neck. Good. Trying to keep the legs open and engaged as well as the core. We'll inhale the arms lift, gaze turns to the middle. Exhale, open back out, gaze comes towards the front. Inhale, open. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Your next breath in brings you back to the center. Your legs come back. And then just do some swishing back and forth, windshield wipering the knees, maybe even letting the arms sway side to side. So I don't knock over my plant. <laughs> Good. And then coming back to the center, we'll prepare for the other side. So shifting to the side of your chair, if that feels good. I might have to get a new chair. This one's pretty squeaky. Opening the left leg out. And then preparing for that warrior one again. So the hips are trying to go towards the front of the room as well as the shoulders. We'll inhale the arms up, warrior one. Taking your version of this posture, again, whatever works best for you. Breathing in here. And out. Good. Breathing in. And out. One more breath here. Your next exhale, opening up for warrior two. Again, trying to face the front of the room. Your arms are long and wide. Your gaze is over the middle fingers. Good. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, open. Inhale, and exhale. Good, your next inhale brings you back to the center, letting the legs shift side to side. Good, we'll just kind of let the arms sway, just feeling whatever we need to do with our bodies right now. Apparently, I need to do some shoulder rolls. So we'll step back up, coming back to the edge of the chair, the feet are grounded in front of you. We'll drop the arms down by the sides, the shoulders away from the ears and the palms facing forward. Take your hand, whichever one, and place it just right above your head. See if you can sit yourself up even taller to where your hand, your head meets your hands. It's almost like you're growing. Just a little bit of self-assist there. Dropping the hands back down. This is again our stable, strong mountain pose. Let's just take a few moments to sway in and out of this position, noticing how that feels for your balance in your body, but then also noticing how that stable place is always there. Even when we go side to side or front and back, maybe even some circling, just noticing how this feels in your body. I think I need some WD-40 for this chair. Good, settling back in. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, cactusing them again. Inhale, reach back as far as you can. Exhale, bring your hands together. Good, inhale, lift. Maybe even try to push the elbows towards one another. They might not reach and that is a-okay. Your hands might not even reach and that's also okay. Your next breath in, lift your fingertips up towards the ceiling and exhale back down. Good. Two more like that. Breathe in and out. Last one in and out. Good. Arms come back down again, swishing side to side. And we'll move on to our legs. So during this portion, if you're unable to actively move your legs, you're, you are invited to just visualize along with us. So using your mind activates those same areas in the brain. 
So visualizing that you're doing each of these, even if you can do it slightly, picture you're doing it all the way. So we'll inhale, lift the toes, exhale, drop them down. So the heels are glued. We'll inhale, lift the toes, exhale. Think about dropping each toe down one at a time. Very difficult to do. Inhale, exhale. One more of those. Up and down. Good. And now we'll come up onto the toes. Inhale the toes, onto the toes, exhale down. Inhale, just getting some movement in the ankles, exhale down. One more of those, inhale and exhale. This time we'll extend the right leg out in front, left leg stays grounded. Just take your toes and let them go side to side, feeling the movement in the hip, some in the ankle, rotating that gentle rotation in and out. And then coming back to the center, letting the toes point and flex. Pointing and flexing. Last one of those. Bringing the leg back up and then extending the left leg out. Bend it out long, let them go side to side. Again, feeling that rotation in the hip. Noticing if one side feels a little different than the other. That is a-okay. So it's good to notice. Back to the center, point and flex. One more of those, point and flex. Bring the legs back to the center. I need to scoot to the edge of my chair a little bit more. You might find that you need to do that as well when the leg is extended. So extend the right leg out, the left leg is planted. From here, put your hands on your hips and see if you can inhale, lift through your spine almost like you're growing out of your hips and exhale just lean forward slightly going as far as is comfortable for you knowing that this might be enough of a stretch for you you might not even have your leg all the way straight and that is all right as well so going as far as feels comfortable for you and taking a few breaths here Your next inhale comes back to the center and exhale stay drop your hands this time inhale the arms up high and then exhale as you go forward going as far as is comfortable and then releasing maybe dropping the hands to the leg the left leg or maybe even to the right extended leg or possibly grabbing your blocks and placing them on either side of your leg here Trying to find length through the spine from the tailbone all the way out through the top of the head. Still keeping this very much active in the core, in the back, as well as the extended leg. Got a few more breaths here. And then slowly come back up out of this posture, back to the center. Let the knees sway side to side, preparing for the left leg. So we'll ground the right foot, extend the left leg out in front of you, hands on the hips. Inhale up tall out of your hips and exhale. Just fold forward slightly, feeling the stretch in the back of the thigh, knowing that as far as you need to go is what you need to do for your body today. And each day is different. Today, you might go all the way forward. Tomorrow, you might be up here. Just having grace for yourself and your body. No judgment. Good. Coming back up. We'll inhale the arms up again, lifting out of the hips, and then exhale, folding forward, dropping the hands here to the extended leg or to blocks. The blocks feel pretty nice. Just knowing that you need to honor your body and your space that you're in right now today. Again, extending through the spine from the sacrum all the way out through the top of your head. Keeping the core and the back engaged and active here. Good. Setting back up slowly. 
And then if you have your blocks, just slightly move them out of the way. We're gonna open the leg out. So that could be here, that could be super wide. Just find whatever version of this works for you. I'm gonna go into star pose. So here, the feet are still beneath the knees, your knees are over your ankles, you're sitting up tall, and we'll inhale, reach the arms out really wide. See if you can imagine that you're sending energy out from your hips through your knees all the way into the ground. And then that energy flows back up through the spine, out through the shoulders, and out through the fingertips. You're super big. Breathe in here. As you exhale, bend the elbows. Good. As you inhale, open the chest and see if you can engage the legs by opening them up more. Feeling the strengthening happening in the hips, the shoulders, breathing here while you're holding this posture, the strengthening. Not holding your breath. Good. One more breath here. One more breath out. Your next inhale, reach really big. And then as you exhale, give yourself a big hug. You can let your legs just relax. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, maybe even resting your forehead, your head on your forehead. Good. And then we'll inhale, open up big again, slightly engaging the legs, and exhale, switch sides. Breathing here and releasing. Coming back to the center. We'll bring the legs back in. Again, swishing them side to side. Just getting that gentle movement in the hip. We're going to ground through the left leg and lift the right leg for a figure four. This may not be accessible to you. You can take a block, placing it in front of you, and just prop your foot up on it. You can go at any height of the block. There's three different levels. So taking whatever works for you. I'll be demonstrating the leg up. So before we begin anything, just start to let your body settle into this posture. Take your right hand and just place it on your thigh. Just gently, gentle pressure down, opening the hip just a little bit more. Keeping the right foot flexed and engaged. Actively positioning it there if you're unable to. Breathe in and out. And let go of your hands and inhale up tall. Exhale, fold forward as far as is comfortable. Maybe even crossing your forearms over your leg. Feels kind of nice. Like everything's stacked up on top of each other. Feeling the stretch in the outer hip here. Your next inhale brings you back up. We'll sit up tall, bringing the hands to heart. And then as you exhale, drop your hands down to the side, twisting towards the window. So as you inhale, lengthen through your spine and exhale, sink a little more into this twist. Good. Perhaps taking your gaze over your shoulder, twisting even further. And then coming back to the center, carefully uncrossing the leg, really letting that hip work in and out, using the hand to help. Coming back to the center, preparing for the other side. We'll cross the left leg over, taking the hand and just gently pressing down, opening the hip just ever so slightly. Breathing here. Settling into this posture. Maybe one side you're able to cross all the way, the other you need to place on the block, or even just cross at your ankles. Having no judgment for your body, just appreciation. We'll remove the hands. Inhale, up tall, and exhale, folding forward, however far is comfortable for you. Feeling the stretch again in the hip. The lengthening through the spine. Breathing. One more breath. 
And then rising slowly, coming back to the center. We'll inhale up tall and we'll exhale, twist to the other side. Keeping the shoulders stacked on top of the hips. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist a little further, perhaps taking the gaze over the back shoulder. Unwinding, uncrossing that hip again, gently rocking it side to side. Move that block out of the way so it doesn't fall over. And we'll inhale, open up again, super wide. Exhale, give yourself a really big hug. Maybe this time trying to reach your fingertips as far as you can. Almost like you're trying to touch your fingertips one, towards one another. Breathe in and out. Maybe now tucking the chin into the chest. Good. This time when you open the arms up, lift the gaze up towards the ceiling as well. Really big and open, taking up space. And then exhale, give yourself a hug again, finding that stretch before you tuck the chin in towards the chest. Good. Open up really big. And then as you exhale, bring every part of your body engaged towards the center, tightening your toes, your legs, your arms, your core, your shoulders, even squinching up your face. You might look kind of silly. I'm sure I look crazy right now, and that's okay. Just try to engage everything, still breathing. And then as you exhale, let everything go. Trying to get into a comfortable space. Maybe scooting back to the edge of your chair and just letting yourself relax, be supported by the back of the chair. You can rest your hands on your lap and you open your hands towards the ceiling. You could stack both of your blocks on your lap and just let them rest here. Just finding whatever works for you. Maybe even like this. Just finding your posture that you would like to end your practice in. Just taking a few moments, let your eyes soften, either closing them or taking your gaze towards the floor. And just check in with your body, noticing how your body feels after this practice. Just doing a quick scan, starting at the toes and to the feet the legs up into the knees and hips, your buttocks, pelvic floor, core, back, your chest and shoulders, both of your arms, all the way to the fingertips, the neck, the throat, your face. And then checking in with your mind, noticing any thoughts that are rushing around, any feelings of anxiety. Just trying to allow yourself to let go of all of those things that you found that do not serve you. Each exhale, trying to release your body and your mind just a little bit more. I'll guide you through a body scan Focusing on relaxing each area as we go through. As we go through, if you have thoughts that enter your mind, I invite you to picture a cloud, just letting them drift away like a cloud, knowing they're still out there in the sky. They're not right in front of you, they're not in your focus. You can let go. So send your attention all the way to your feet. Noticing the tops of the feet, each toe, and then the bottoms of the feet where they meet the mat or your shoe or the earth. Noticing how grounded you are here. 
I invite you to let all the muscles of the feet relax, melting into the surface that is supporting you. Allow the attention to shift up towards the ankle and the lower leg, letting the muscles around the lower leg melt down towards the earth. Softening both knees, shifting the attention up to the thighs, allowing the muscles from the knees all the way to the hips, soften and open, melting down into the feet. The back of your thighs melting, the top of your thighs joining. Allow the hips to soften and open the buttocks and pelvic floor, release any tension you have there. Let your low belly and back soften, your middle back ribs, your chest and open upper back just open and release. Let the shoulders fall away from the ears. Let the arms from the shoulders all the way to the elbows soften, the biceps and the triceps release. Let the forearms release into the wrists. The tops of the hands and the palms melt open. And then each finger, from the palm all the way to the fingertips, soften and relax. working from the pinkies to the thumbs. Shift the attention up to the neck, noticing the neck from the back of the skull down towards the shoulders. Release any tension in the back of your neck. Notice the sides of the neck from the jaw down, softening there. And then the front of the neck, the space around the throat, softening. Let your scalp fall back from the top of your head to the base of your skull. Let the forehead soften, the eyebrows release, the space between the eyebrows. Your nose and cheeks softening, the jaw releasing. Letting the tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth, your ears to relax, and your eyes to feel heavy in their sockets. Your entire body from the top of your head all the way to your toes is in complete stillness for a few moments longer. You can stay here in the state of calm, quiet relaxation as long as you would like. Pause or just listen to my voice or let it go. Those that are ready, I will guide you out, bringing awareness back to the breath, noticing the soft and gentle rise and fall of the breath. Allowing that awareness to slowly grow, expanding throughout your body until you're ready to begin making some gentle awakening movements, maybe wiggling the fingers, the toes, rolling the wrists, making these movements as big as you need. 
going as slow as you need to to get there. And before you open your eyes, just let your head fall down towards your chest. Bringing your hands to heart center. And taking a moment to just recognize what you've just put, what you've just done for your body. Noticing all the work that you've put in, the time, the effort, and just take a moment to thank yourself, feeling a sense of gratitude for taking this time for this practice. If you're ready, you can stay here, or you can inhale your head back up, your eyes softly opening. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you for this time, for this practice, for sharing this space with me. It is one of my greatest blessings. Thank you.